Russian forces take control of Umansk village and install the USSR flag. Build. Russian invasion forces have entered the village of Umansk, located west of Avdiivka, and reportedly planted a USSR flag there, said an expert in open data analysis at Build, Julian Ropka. After Russia captured Avdiivka, Ukrainian troops initially held the defense west of the town along the Berdichi, Semenivka, Olivka, Tonenke line. However, by the end of March, the Russian army breached this line and advanced westward. Subsequently, the Ukrainian armed forces established defensive positions in villages to the west, with Umansk being the first. The Russian troops have now entered Umansk, stated Ropka. They installed the red flag of the USSR with a hammer and sickle on the monument to those who died in World War II, while the southern and western part of the village remain under the control of the Ukrainian army. Satellite images suggest that Russian forces are actively engaging Ukrainian trenches east of Umansk. Ukrainian troops appear to be withdrawing westward along the northern side of the lake within the village. The Russian troops successfully established a foothold near Otoretny in Donetsk Oblast, utilizing four brigades to achieve this advancement, stated Nazar Voloshin, spokesperson for the Kortitsia Operational and Strategic Troop Grouping, on April the 27th. Ukrainian Armed Forces Commander-in-Chief Alexander Sirsky confirmed on April the 28th that the situation at the front had intensified. Ukrainian defenders withdrew to the west of the villages of Badichi, Semenivka and Novomarkailivka. Ukrainian officials have emphasized the importance of military aid packages from the west to enable Ukrainian forces to fend off new attacks. The Russians advanced south of Novokalinov, east of Umansk and south of Novomarkailivka. Active hostilities continue near Vimka, Krasnoharivka, Vodian and Robotyn. Russians managed to break through the defences of the 59th Infantry Brigade and have completely occupied Pervomaisk, the battle for which actually began in August 2022. The village became one of the hottest spots in this war and has cost the enemy a high price. According to Deep State, the Ukrainian defenders also paid a high price, especially the guys from the glorious 59th Separate Motorized Infantry Brigade, who desperately held on to every basement and kept up the defense even when completely surrounded. Russian students expelled from university for refusing to work at defense plants. Students of the Baltic State Technical University, Vonmek, of Russia are sent to military enterprises as an educational practice. If they refuse, they are expelled from the university according to the Center for National Resistance of Ukraine. Before undergoing such practice, students are forced to sign an employment contract and documents for access to state secrets. They have to fill out a questionnaire with their personal data, type of activity, marital status, travels abroad and information about their closest relatives. They are not informed about what they will have to do at military enterprises. However, according to the stories of their predecessors, children already understand that it will be the assembly of drones and other military equipment to strengthen the army in the war against Ukraine. You can't refuse the practice. If a student refuses, he or she will be expelled for practice debt. The Center for National Resistance of Ukraine reports. It is noted that according to the Kremlin's plan, each region of the Russian Federation will receive about 301 million rubles to purchase equipment for lessons on the development, production and operation of FPV drones in schools. Recently, the Kremlin has intensified ideological, technical and combat training of young people, school children and students for the war against Ukraine and the collective West. Meanwhile, Ukraine has caught up with Russia in terms of production of kamikaze drones. In 2024, Ukraine caught up with Russia in producing kamikaze drones similar to Shahed-131 and Shahed-136, says Ukro Baronprom, General Director Herman Smetanin, in an interview with Army Inform. According to the state-owned weapon manufacturer chief, a number of contracts have been signed with private manufacturers mostly related to licensed production, drones in particular. Since private enterprises cannot provide the required number of drones, they sign a license agreement and Ukro Baronprom enterprises are involved in the production.